there's definitely times where you feel like you can't go on anymore and it's exhausting. But in all of it, everybody is there for each other. Each new day comes and it's time to start up and keep going. It's the only thing to do is to keep going. My husband Dave was in the room with me when I found out that it was breast cancer and he got tears in his eyes. How do we explain it to the kids? How do we handle their emotions in addition to our emotions? When I first met Holly, she had a, a big lump in her breast, something she herself had felt, and that had come on pretty quickly and was a relatively aggressive tumor. And what we provided for Holly was the ability to invest her tissue in the beauty study. I knew right away that I wanted to get involved with this because it linked me into the excellent care there at Mayo, and it could provide some hope for me down the road in the future. In order to move the breast cancer field forward, we need the genetic makeup of the tumor. The sequencing information from Beauty is allowing us to look across the genome at abnormalities that are associated with no response or poor response to chemotherapy. But that's not enough. What we need further is proof, and the best proof, quite honestly, is in that patient's tumor. Does this patient's tumor respond to chemotherapy? And that's where the xenografts have come in. The mouse xenografts allows us to grow that tumor in the mouse and evaluate any findings in the tumor that's living in the mouse. The exciting thing about beauty is we anticipate we're going to see change in cancer therapy in the next couple of years, not the next couple of decades. Through Holly's chemotherapy, that tumor shrunk away. And so it was exciting to meet up with her after she'd finished her chemotherapy to say, hey, what are our options now? The care at Mayo Clinic has enveloped me. I can't imagine going anywhere else. I feel amazed at the future. I found out that all the tissue and the lymph nodes that they removed had no residual cancer cells in them down the road if I do have a recurrence, they would have studied how my tumor tissue responds to different chemotherapies. This changed everything.